Hi, it's Tassie from The Tassie Way, and today I am with Andrew McSweeney, the director of Ray White Carina, who I conducted a rent roll due diligence for. Thank you so much for joining me. My pleasure. Okay, so I've just got a couple of questions just to see how um, how you felt with regards to the due diligence. So sure. before you started working with me, where were you um, with your business? How did you feel about it? Um, well, look, in terms of the property management side of the business, um, as you know, um, since we've met, I, I've always prided myself on being one of those principals that sort of really tried to drill down on the property management side of it. I know that, you know, as a selling principal, you, you don't necessarily, you're not necessarily flushed with time. Um, and, you, you know, I think for me, I've always tried to, uh, you know, to, to drill down some of the metrics within the PM division. but. You know, I felt like I was just a little bit limited with the information that I was getting. Um, I don't think that the back end systems that we were using were probably uh, the most accurate. And as you can appreciate, it's only as good as the information that's been provided to you as well and put in yeah. by, you know, the, the, the guys that are working for you. So I, I probably felt like I had a fair bit of control, but not necessarily the control that I was looking for. Great. So why did you start working with me? Um, well, as you know, um, initially I needed valuations done uh, yeah. for a multitude of reasons, which weren't great. Um, but beyond that, obviously, um, you, you know, uh, for me, it was really about going, I needed to understand as much about that business. I mean, for, for, for most principals who have spent enough time in this space, they understand that this is probably uh, the only asset component to your business. I mean, we can run businesses for a long time, but at the end of the day, um, I suppose the only tangible asset left at the end of the day is is what your um, your, your PM division looks like. So, so for me, it was really about understanding that you know I needed to uh, to have a little bit more control over you know what was going on in that division. Yeah, also protecting it, you know, protecting mm -hmm. your relationship with your landlords and everything. That was pretty important as well. I remember that conversation yeah. we had. Yeah, look, very much. I mean, you know, it's twenty nine years for me next year, so. I've been very fortunate that you know since i've been running the business now for 20 years but um i i purchased a, with the business a small a small part of a rent roll um so some of those owners have been with this business for over 30 years as well so you know to continue to strive to add value you know you, you've got to start to to pull back those layers and look where you can actually add value and, and that's why I, obviously i contacted you um not only just for the financial stream within the business but but you know, I mean, we, you know, we've had the luxury of of having committed clients to us for a long, long time, and uh, you know, it's always a challenge to to keep creating value for them. So, yeah, you definitely have done that. I I, I definitely know that. Yes, um, so, you. what did you discover when we started working together? When we started the due diligence process? Um, well, I I, I think that. Um, I didn't quite have as much control as what I thought that I had. Um, I mean, obviously, I've had some amazing um, people working inside the business, but but I suppose you know no one will ever really care as much as what you do. Um, and that's not to say that that you know um, the people that we've had working here haven't done an amazing job. But I think that for me, yeah, understanding that there potentially were other revenue streams within inside the PM division, which you have unearthed for me, um, which was something that we weren't taking advantage of, um, and uh, and obviously having those 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 back end metrics um, that were actually constant and real uh, enabled me to then sort of start to set some visions around growth as well. Um, understanding what my true retention rates were and all of the things that we need to be mindful of to be able to, you know, to add growth on top. Um, so, yeah, there, there was so much that was unearthed in there, you know, in terms of and even with respect to um, some of the legislative changes and things like that. Yeah. I mean, obviously for us, there's been so many changes in that space to protect the landlords, but also to protect ourselves as well. We need to make sure that those disciplines have been taken care of. And as you go through your 9,000 page, you know, due diligence <laughs> process, you know, you start to realise that there are a lot, a lot of boxes there that need to be ticked that potentially yeah. were being ticked, but not all of them being ticked. And that's where the exposure comes, doesn't it? Oh, definitely. And that's what I love about due diligence so much. I mean, I think I sat in front of you and you saw the passion come out of my eyes and yes. you're like, oh, my God, you're a nerd. Yeah. I know, <laughs> like yeah. 
which most principals are not, let's be honest. I mean, you know, we all try to stay in our lane and, and you know, I think, you know, uh, I'm, I'm probably not talking out of school and suggesting that, you know, a lot of principals that I've met were, have sort of come from a sales background uh, and they've, they've got themselves into this position, you know. Um, so not having too much exposure in that space but then understanding the value in that space as as you go through your time as being a principal as well and realising that, that, you know, when you've sold your last sale, that's sort of game over. But for, for us to have something tangible at the end of it, you need to protect it. Um, and it's not just a case of going, I've protected the value, but you've also protected yourself from the exposure of changing legislation throughout this whole period of time. Because, you know, by the time I finish my career um, in another... 20 years, oh my God, it seems like a long time. I'll still be around, we're all good. Oh my God, you know, I'll be 107. But, <laughs> but, at, the, but at the end of the day, it's it's really about going, okay, well, how can I protect myself through that ever-changing landscape? And and I think obviously having somebody on board um, as, as a second set of eyes and a very diligent second set of eyes, I might add, you know, you're exposing and unearthing those vulnerabilities within your business so that we can, we can uh, keep on track and put those things right as they change. Oh, thank you. I love that it's um it's created something like so valuable for you. So that's oh, really great. Yeah. So with yeah. the results of your experience, how are you feeling about the business now? Yeah, really good. Uh, I mean, obviously, um, I've used the word control probably 15 times already. So I'm, I think everyone's probably sort of, uh, you know, picking up that I, I, I do like that element of business. I mean, I just think that it's it's so important that um, as a as a selling principal um, and actively involved with my team all the time from, from a sales perspective, you know, that the, we know exactly what's going on. Uh, you know, and, you know, so, I, I, yeah, control is a big thing for me, but I, I just feel like there's a lot more that I know about the PM division. Um, you know, all of the all the data that comes out, you know, from all of your reporting, um, just puts you in a really good space. You know that, that you can actually continue to grow with confidence as we move forward, um, you know, and understanding that, as I said, it's not just about the dollars, it's about all of the other little componentary things that, that a lot of people forget or gloss over. And, it, you know, you take away that vulnerability of going, okay, well, I might have an exceptional head of PM, um, but, you know, things slip through the cracks. And unfortunately, it's the things that slip through the cracks that leave you exposed. So, you know, just like we have insurance, you're an amazing insurance policy for our business because you come through, pick up all of those things, and I can then move forward with confidence into the next year, start to build some growth mechanisms in them. But I know that I'm putting all of this growth on, on top of a really sturdy foundation. So, so yeah, a lot more control. Thank you. No, you're welcome. Um, thank you so much for your time. Uh, is there anything else that you wanted to add or? Um, look, I, I think that, um, sorry, is that my phone ringing at the same time? <laughs> it, was always, it was always dodgy doing this on my phone. It was always about to ring. Um, look, I, I, I think, you know, um, from a principal that's been in this space for, for 29 years, I mean, look, time doesn't make me a guru, but I suppose it's given me a lot more exposure to, to doing things the right way and the wrong way as well. But yeah. I, I think that, uh, you know, if you're not learning as you're going along the way, that you know, when you think that you have those elements of control, if you don't have things like yourself in the background there then you could potentially cost yourself a lot of business you could cost yourself a lot of money but you know i know that that, that we're doing this you know in, in terms because i'm a raving advocate of you but Thank you know you. if there was if there was any advice that i could give to to anybody understand the value by getting somebody like tazi to come in and assess your business you will never pull it apart to the lengths or the degrees that this woman will do it for you so you know you will unearth value in your rent roll you will you will unearth you know a a a, a, a hidden amount of dollars that you're probably not reaping you know like this is the thing that you guys need to realize i mean we're, we're running a business so at the end of the day if there's hidden cost centers in there that that need to be extinguished or at the same time that then increases your revenue. So all of these things, nobody will take the amount of time to do that. Um, uh, uh, so so the value in, in having Tazi come into your business is immense. You know, I, I guarantee you once she has finished pulling it apart, you will find things that you never thought were there, but also increasing your revenue stream as well, which is important to every business. It is. Thank you so much for your time. I, I really appreciate it.